Uh, Kevin Sheehan. <laughs> what can I say to you? I've got to put it too straight. Down five points in the second half. Yeah. Uh, not looking good at all. Played against the stiff breeze. Yeah. And he came out and produced that kind of a display in for the last 25 minutes. It's an unbelievable turnaround. And he came out six points winners. Yeah. How did you do that? I tell you, we came in at half time and instead of shouting and roaring and, and, and balling, we spoke about Camara in the drawing game where it would hit us a goal and a point just for half time. We spoke about. Um, Turles, seven Turles, minutes, yeah. down seven minutes to go. Then we spoke with Ryan Kilmore this year, who was under a lot of pressure. And um, same thing, we were down a few points today, played quite well, and we were coming into the, the conditions. But to be honest, the conditions suit us just a little. Here's coming to wing forward, gives a bit Marty a little bit more space, and, and, and Jack gets to sit a little bit more. So I don't know, we better off them against the wing ball, that's. Yeah. Marty came up there with a the goal there. He 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 won three, but won that three. goal was really yeah, that so was, good for you as well. It was a little bit of the finishing of the game, to be honest. Um, I felt the goal either way would, would get it, and to be honest, um, but, to be honest, um, it was incredible. Yeah, and, yeah. and not only like I I was talking Marty there, rootless. It was good to popped it in and, and put an interchange there that might have dropped, but no, took the man on the shoulder, got his space and stuck it in the right position. Yeah, I was sure he was going to take the point and uh, yeah, just yeah. couldn't believe it. No, he, he it, was got goal, goal, yeah. it was a goal yeah. chance. And, and, that, and that was a real, a real clincher, as you say. Yeah. Now, in DC, 13 points. 13 points. But what can you say? Gary took up a great point there in the first half. Yeah. When he, when he needed a score. When he needed a score, like. big point. And Gary Hoover very well in the first half. I thought, to be honest, I thought we had very few in the first half for a pitch of the game, but Gary was definitely one. Gary, Gary, I counted five players in the first ten minutes that Gary was yeah. And, yeah, and they obviously had a tactic to expose our uh, wing back, and Gary just shielded that across and, and took away that, that, that outlet. Yeah, Tony, Tony outside of his usual game, he, he, he made some interceptions there, yeah. quick boards away from, from this uh, at, at times, like, which is. Yeah, uh, look, at every, every so often teams are going to tie up Tony, like, he can't, he's not Superman, like, you know, and like, I think in the morning got him to a point, but he still rolled very well. And to be honest, Pratt Lutz, they they flooded the, the area around them with players that are lovely stick holders and yeah. move the ball quite quickly. So we, we, we know though that, that we can be on the rest of the times with the rest of the team, but eventually they'll have to get the respect they deserve because they're constant and, and they're relentless. They'll tackle and they'll hook and they'll block and they'll keep using the right options. Yeah. And if, if you have a team that will be willing to work the right way at 100%, they're always going to be in the mix. Yeah, yeah. Like at the beginning of the year, and they said this to Tony as well, like that you, you, you're down five players starting out, more, yeah. more than five players. I think yeah. Paul Flanagan gets injured. Yeah. We think, well, there's no way Benny got to win this championship with, with such a loss. Yeah. But you found, you found new players. and, and uh, Yeah, it's, it's funny in that regard that, um, like, I suppose Dewan has gone now two years. We, we, we felt that Dewan, Killian could replace him. And I thought, you know, Dewan is a fantastic hurler. Maybe if we had Dewan back, like Dewan might be playing centre back for us. But Killian was definitely going into that option. And, and look at Angus Keane uh, has been playing quite well the last year or so and deserves his chance. Brendan O'Connell is, is, is a man that has been huge potential and it just takes time to um, get it out. Clyde Lynch has stepped up this year in a big way. Ryan Griffin has added a massive amount to the, to the panel. And, and I suppose Budgie is a massive loss. A massive loss. Flanagan is a massive loss. But I felt we could solve the rest. You know, I just felt we had an open line to solve the rest. You did. You all tried to get a new goalkeeper. You stepped back from the, from yeah. the goalkeeper position to do this manager's job, obviously. Barry Coote stepped in there and he, and he said it great to you. Yeah, myself and Barry, I suppose, for, for the couple of years I was there, we were the best of enemies. Like We worked savage hard with each other. And I suppose there was moments there that, that he could have got the nod. He was at that level. And I, I did feel I spoke actually not outside of Ireland to one of my good friends about Barry. And I felt that when this job was coming up, it would be a double, a double good thing because... If I'd stayed for another year or two, Barry Cool's kind of 22, 23 now, he would have left. He couldn't have been expected to stay yeah. so goal. And you might have created another factor that we had after Shane O'Neill. And Shane O'Neill was an awful man to try and replace. Yeah. So it was important maybe you just keep that, that link coming. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What's the difference now? Two years ago you were in Gorge, you were part of the team. Yeah. You're still part of the team, but you're manager now, of course. What's the difference? In yeah, the no, there's no team? massive difference. You're still part of it, and it feels brilliant still to be part of it. I suppose the difference was the nerves the day of the match far greater when you're playing you're, you're very very intense and especially in a position that one mistake will cost the final that, that feels there yeah. but, uh, but I suppose uh, when, when we were when it's five six points down today we were under pressure to make, make the right decision to get the right calls and I think we, we, we moved our 
two we maxed cornerbacks, we moved our two cornerbacks out, we switched Gary and Ty, and we brought on Ryan Griffin. And suddenly we started to move. And when that happened, I felt when we got the squeeze, we'd get it home, and, and that yeah. seemed to be the case. Yeah, they say a good team would win, it'd win, it'd win a county title. Yeah. To come back and win two makes you a great team. Yeah, and it's, it's funny, Nicholas, and a lot of these lads are cool lads, but stuck in my stomach a bit, one or two comments about um, a good team has to win two. I think it's a bit of a myth. No, no bad team ever wins a country yes, final. Yeah. And to be honest, when you backed it up with a Munster club, it was a bit of an insult to say, are you still a good team? I thought it was it stuck with us a bit, but we, we wouldn't buy into that. What we did feel is that last year we got back a county final without even letting off a shot, and that did stick a bit with us this year. Today. At least we'd make a good account of the sense. Yeah. Kevin, congratulations. Yeah, uh, thanks, I, I know you want to get away. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Superb. Enjoy the, enjoy yeah. the, the night. Thanks very much. Yeah. Good luck.